Hello, today I'd like to talk about the alternatives to equity release. Now, anyone who's read the stuff that I've written in the past or listened to these uh, videos previously knows that I'm very keen on the idea that equity release isn't the only answer in terms of later life lending. Um, really important to look at all your options to keep an open mind and, and to, to think creatively and to uh, talk your entire situation through with your advisor. So a lot of people when they hit later life think that at some point that downsizing is going to be uh, is going to be an option in their future. Sometimes it's worth thinking about bringing that forward instead of raising equity on your prop on your current house. You, know, you move to a more manageable property, lower bills, things like that. You release the money that you may need now. So that's one of the things to consider. Conventional lending is also uh, becoming more and more of a possibility for people entering retirement. Uh, we've got lenders who will take pension income up to 85. We've got lenders who'll do re um, repayment mortgages up to 99. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of options out there as well as the standard retirement interest only options which can be a little bit restrictive and again the equity release. Um, asking family for help. This, this may not be for everyone, but you know we've had cases where that's worked really well um, and family have been very, very happy to help out. Um, home reversion is an option. Now, home reversion uh, has become a bit of a dirty word, but for some people it is the most appropriate solution. Unfortunately, uh, we're restricted to one lender at the moment and there's, there's very little scope for, for people to do that. But, you know, again, it's worth talking through as an option so you're aware of everything that's out there. Um, the other option, the other alternative towards equity release, which is really worth thinking about, is delaying it. Um, so if you've got savings, have a look at the interest rate that you're getting on the savings. Is that going to be more or less than, than the money that you're planning on taking out through equity release? It may be worth using some savings first, doing equity release later. Uh, but again, a full and, and really honest conversation with your advisor can help to identify these, these points and to see what the structure is going to be best to suit you.